Welcome back to another week of Kidopolis with Miss Jessie. This is Kidopolis for now, and it has been since March. And I am Miss Jessie. I've been Miss Jessie for even longer since before March. Um, this month, we are in the month of November still. We have one more week of November. Um, and then we get to move on to the best month of fall, Christmas. I mean, December. But, you know, it's Christmas. So it's going to be very exciting. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I know you're excited. We're still going to do November. We have one more week. And for November, we have our theme is shout out. Let them know you're thankful. Perfect for Thanksgiving, right? Almost like they did it on purpose. What do you think? So with that, we are learning about this very fancy, I counted it earlier, but I already forgot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letter word. Nine letter word. Gratitude. You don't have to say it like that. You can say it like this. Gratitude. Um, letting others know you see how they've helped you. Gratitude. Letting others know you see how they've helped you. Again, perfect for the month of Thanksgiving. You know, November seemed like a really short month. Um, I was gone the past two weeks, I think. It's been a little crazy here, but we're hoping things are going to settle down. Um, and we're going to finish November right, okay? So for November or for this last week of November. The big idea for the week is get in the habit of being grateful. Get in the habit of being grateful. And don't forget that being grateful isn't just how you feel and your intentions. It's letting people, let's see, where is it? The first one, right? Letting others know, letting others know you see how they've helped you. So it's not just feeling, but it's also like, it's not just inside, it's outside. You gotta let it go outside. So get in the habit of being grateful and showing it, okay? So, I have a couple tips for you um, for how to get in the habit of being grateful. And it's really, really easy. I bet you, I bet you, you have some habits that you do every single day as it is, right? Probably brush your teeth once or twice a day. You definitely go to bed every night. It might be a little different time every single day, but you definitely do. And you also, let's see, what else do you do? I don't know. Life is a little bit different these days. Maybe you uh, watch a little TV, you probably sit down with your family at dinner, right? So think about your habits. Make a list of your habits that you do every single day. Let's say that there's three of them, okay? Maybe it's eat breakfast, eat lunch, eat dinner. And um, when you do that, I want you to also, when you sit down, that is your reminder to combine your habit that you do already with the habit of being grateful. So you look around the people around you, you look up at God, you look um, at the world, and you just say, I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful for you. Maybe you did it this Thanksgiving. Did you do it at Thanksgiving? A lot of people do that. They go around the table and they say what they're thankful for. Did you do that? Maybe. We didn't do that but we did do our family prayer and everything. I'm going to tell you about another, well, I'm not gonna tell you. John and Brandon and probably Kellen are gonna tell you about another really, really big dinner. It wasn't a Thanksgiving supper. Pretty close though. It's called the Lord's Supper. Um, and it's when we had like the first communion ever pretty much. So you're gonna watch that. I'll be right back here. We'll do prayer and memory verse and I can't wait to see you. Oh, fantastic. That was Johnny Boy and the Beef Jerky Boys running away from a fight. Up next, we got more hits for you. But first, let's take some calls. Hello, you are on WSO So with John. Hey, John, this is Steve at WJED in Skokie. Just wanted to give a shout out and say thank you for bringing so much joy to the people. Thanks, Steve. Right back at you. Hey, you're on the air with John. John, this is Barb and Vidalia at W-O-N Yun. Just wanted to say thank you. You're sweeter than honeycomb dipped in molasses. Keep up the good work, sugar. Thanks, Barb. Hello, talk to me. Hi, this is Brandon, your co-host on the So-and-So Show. I wanted to give you a shout out and say, you're the best host ever. But seriously, Brandon, if anyone is the best host ever, it's you, buddy. Uh, 
yeah. Uh, how about some music from Planet John's guitar hit, Chain Reaction of Love? You're not the only one who's good at impersonations. Oh, whoa. Hello, everyone. I'm Brandon. I'm John. <laughs> and um, welcome to the So and So Show. <laughs> so, John. Hey, Jabberwocky uh, is a nonsense poem written by Lewis Carroll, included in his novel Through the Looking Glass. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, John. Yeah. I mean, are you going to do the show with me today? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just have to get my daily reading in. Okay, right now? Yeah. I mean, it's important to make a habit of reading a little bit every day, kids. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Today I'm reading this classic, The J in Kekalapadaya. <laughs> Do you have to read it in the middle of the show? I've missed a few days and I'm trying to catch up. Yeah, how, how, how many days? What day is it? Uh, one, two, three years. <sighs> huh, did you know? Did you know that Jacksonville, Florida is the largest city by land area in the continental United States? I did not know that. <laughs> this book is incredible. You can learn almost anything you want. As long as it starts with a J and existed before 1967. Yeah, I don't know why more people haven't read it. Yeah, me neither. By the way, <clears throat> if you don't know what an encyclopedia is, you can look it up on the internet, along with literally anything else you want to learn about. What? Not all jaguars have spots. That's crazy. John, please read that some other time. We're in the middle of something here. I know, but I found that I have a better chance of keeping a good habit when I have it stack. When you what now? When I have it stack. Yeah, I heard the word. It's when you take one habit and you stack it onto another. Like, I'm in the habit of doing the show and so show with you every week. If I stack my reading habit on top of that, then I won't forget to read. Okay, can't you stack it onto another habit? I mean, what's another habit you have? Well, when I wake up in the morning, uh, I have a habit of screaming before I do anything else. Why in the world? It clears the lungs. Oh, fine, okay. Why don't you habit stack reading after your morning scream. Oh, because after my morning scream, I drink my morning coffee. Okay, then habit stack reading after your coffee. Oh, but that would get in the way of my morning cry. Is the paddle ball part of it? Habit stacking. Okay. So you've got a full morning. Uh -huh. All right. But we've got to figure out some place to stack your reading habit. Okay, we can make a game of it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Habit stacking heroes. The game is easy. Instead of doing habits one after another, we're going to do them all at once. Whoever can do the most good habits at the same time wins. Make sense? Not at all. Let's play. Ready, set, go! Brush your teeth. Okay. Easy. Uh-huh. Look at that. Sit-ups. Zero. Okay. I'm fine. Uh, oh. All right. Uh. Practice math. Uh. What? Okay. Practice this is easy. Vocal warm ups. Oh. Cats can't kick cups. Cats can't kick cups. Do the bicycle. Oh. Cats can't kick cups. Oh. You're both winners. Oh. Oh. Really? Hey. 
I've never felt more productive. It's Bible story time with Cameron. <laughs> Good people. Hey, Cameron. Thanks again for uh, taking our friend Kellen's place this month. Anytime. What's going on with you guys today? Uh, habit stacking. You want to try? Um, Trust me, Cameron. It's a hard no. Okay, but habits can be good sometimes. In fact, today we're talking about a habit that began thousands of years ago that's still happening today. Awesome. Take it away, Cameron. You've probably heard of the Lord's Supper. Or maybe you've heard it called communion, or even a really fancy word like Eucharist. Different people observe the Lord's Supper in different ways, sometimes every week or every month, or maybe a few times a year. Sometimes people use bread and wine, sometimes they use juice and crackers. But even though everyone does it a little bit differently, the reason they do it is the same. They do it to remember. When Jesus and his disciples were having their last supper together, they themselves were remembering something called the Passover. Hundreds of years before Jesus, God's people, the Israelites, were slaves in Egypt. And God chose a man named Moses to rescue his people from the Egyptian Pharaoh. Moses said, Let my people go. But the Pharaoh refused, so God sent ten plagues frogs, sick animals, flies. But the 10th plague was by far the worst. Moses warned Pharaoh that if he didn't let God's people go, every firstborn son in Egypt would die, including Pharaoh's own son. But Pharaoh refused. God gave the Israelites a way to protect themselves from what was coming. They were to sacrifice a lamb, then spread some of its blood on the doorframe of their houses. This would be a sign for God to pass over that home and not harm anyone inside. That night, those with the blood of the lamb on their doorframes were spared. But Pharaoh's firstborn son died, along with every other firstborn son in Egypt. So Pharaoh sent the Israelites away. After hundreds of years in slavery, they were finally free. That's what Jesus and his disciples were remembering during their last meal together. They were remembering the day when God rescued his people from slavery in Egypt. But Jesus was about to give the celebration a whole new meaning for you and me. When Jesus had given thanks, he broke the bread and he said, This is my body. It is given for you. Every time you eat it, do it in memory of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine and said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Every time you drink it, do it in memory of me. Jesus knew that God had a plan for another incredible rescue. This time, he would rescue the whole world. And this time, Jesus himself would be the sacrifice. That's why we celebrate the Lord's Supper today. So we can show God how grateful we are to him for sending his son and so that we can get in the habit of remembering how Jesus gave his life to save you and me. The end. Wow. Right? Yeah, it's so cool to think that when we take communion or the Lord's Supper, we're literally doing something that Christians have been doing since the beginning of the church. And that's over a hundred years. Try 2,000 years. I say again, wow. Yeah. It's important for us to have things we do regularly that can remind us to be grateful to God. Mm. Hey, you ought to have it stacked that, John. Yeah, I'll put that right after my morning cry. You see, Cameron? You don't have to explain. Okay. Thanks for the story, Cameron. You bet, guys. See you next time. <sighs> Looks like we've got some remembering to do, John. I I'm ready to try, but it's just hard for me. I, I can't even remember to send my Aunt Maisie a thank you card for my graduation present. Your graduation? Oh, yeah, I've been meaning to do it for 25 years. Reveal the question! 
What helps you remember to be grateful? Well, doing the Lord's Supper helps me remember to be grateful for what Jesus did for us. Yeah, and being outside can help me remember to be thankful for all the beautiful things God made. Yeah, what about you? What helps you remember to be grateful? Not just to God, but to people too. Yeah, talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. And I'll be moving on to the K in the Incacalapaidia. Can't wait to tell you the major export of Kirkarikichi stain. Kirkaranka singer stain. I can't wait either. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, we're back. I have a very special helper this week. This is, what's your name? Um, my name is Heidi Jo Christian. This is Heidi Jo Christian. And she is, how old are you Heidi? Um, three. She's three years old. She actually, right before um, we started to do the stay at home stuff, she moved from the, um, what is that, the park to the neighborhood. So she should have been in the neighborhood class, but she never got a chance to do it. So she's gonna... Hi, Megan. Hello. Her uncle just walked up the stairs. So she's going to practice her memory verse with me today. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so say, say these words after me. Give thanks. Um, say give thanks. Give thanks. To the Lord. To the Lord. Because he is good. Because he is good. Give thanks to the Lord. Give Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Mm. You got it. You did, you did such a good job. Give thanks to the Lord. Give the Lord. Because he is good. Because he is good. So this is a reminder. Our memory verse this month is Psalm 136, verse 1. And if you are what would have been in Heidi's classroom, um, or... When I'm Esme, I'm going to go to school. Yeah, she's going to go to school one day. But if you're a kindergarten or below, that's all you need to do to get your special treat for the month. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. Now, if you're a little bit older, first grade and up, you need to do the whole thing. So we're going to do the whole thing, me and Heidi, all of Psalm 136, verse 1. Can you say Psalm 136? Psalm. One. Psalm. 136. 146. Verse 1. Verse 1. And if you're having a hard time remembering your memory verse, I don't know if you know this, but if you teach somebody something, they learn you learn it yourself faster. So, give thanks. Repeat after me. Give thanks. Give thanks. To the Lord. To the Lord. Because he is good. Because he is good. His faithful love. His faithful love. Love. Continues forever. Praise. I mean, I Continues. Continues. Forever. Forever. Good job. So, give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. And let's say where it is one more time. Psalm. Psalm. 136. 146. Verse. Verse one. One. Okay. Tell them they did a good job. Say good job. Tell them. Good job. Good job. Okay. So now we're gonna do prayer time. Do you wanna do you wanna start praying and then mommy will pray after you? So just like the memory verses, if you send me your memory verse, by the way, um, you can text it to me, Facebook, uh, email it, let me know. You will get a treat dropped off. At home but you can also send me your prayer request same way any way you like and let me know if you want me to pray out loud here at Kidopolis or keep it in my heart um, but either way you can totally send me your prayer request this week Heidi's gonna help me out and she is an awesome prayer she loves to pray don't you yeah you're you're the best one in the family I think at dinner yeah. time 
She says some really good prayers. So, you ready? Okay, so you start and then I'll finish. Deal? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ready? Go ahead. Um... Dear God. Dear God. What do you have to say thank you for? For thank you to... Uh, to thank you to... Um, <laughs> do you want mommy to pray and then you can do a little bit after? Yeah. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for our church family. Thank you so much for your word and um, letting us learn. Thank you for a month that reminds us to be thankful and a holiday that reminds us to be thankful. Please help us use those times where we already have habits formed to get into the habit of thanking you and thanking those around us. Um, we love you. Mama, stop. Thank Mama, you. Stop. How are you so good, man? Okay, go ahead. Um, 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 coach, coach was in, 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 um, That's okay. Coach. That's okay. You just pray. Um. Say thank you, God, for everything. Thank you, God, for everything. We love you so much. We love you so much. We hope that we can live the way you want us to live. And you want to live. You want to live. Thank you for our pets and our family. Thank you, all pets and family. We love you so much. We love you so much. Amen. Amen. We got a little bit of camera shy, but that is okay, right? What? Right. It's okay. But you didn't play. Yeah, I did. I prayed before you. Remember? <laughs> she did do that that is okay right all right so we're gonna say bye to our friends and say we'll see you next week we will see you next week say bye bye no kisses. oh <laughs> bye